Are you scratching your head because your best seller is nearly out of stock and Amazon still won't let you send more in? I might have the idea behind why that is and I'll explain what that situation looks like. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. The root problem is Amazon ran out of room this year. We all are pretty well versed by the time you watch this video about the IPI scores. I'm gonna sidestep all of that stuff. Uh, so this video is going to be specific on one key area, and it's reserved inventory. So if you have sold a lot of inventory in this last seven days, and, and if Amazon hasn't shipped those goods out, you're going to notice there's a high volume in the reserved row when you click on the available inventory. So if you go to your inventory page, inventory, manage inventory, get on this page, and you put your cursor over this available dropdown, and you can see uh, right here is reserved and right here is inbound. So these two problems are the first two things you need to look at. If you have all of a sudden spiked lots and lots of sales and you have your reserved inventory numbers high, those reserved inventory numbers count against the number of units you can ship into Amazon. So let's say for a moment, you sold 1,000 units in the last seven days and Amazon's only shipped 200 of those and you have an inventory cap of 1,000. Well, 1,000 minus what you currently have there at Amazon, let's say it's zero, just make math easy, minus the number of, of items that have physically been shipped, which was 200 in this example, and you would only be able to send in 200 units. Even though you sold 1,000, because those 800 units are stuck in reserved. So Amazon's system is completely overwhelmed right now. We've seen the, the systems go down two and a half times in the last seven days. And I say two and a half because it was kind of like a half morning and then two full days. Um, order counts and reporting and APIs, it's just a giant mess over there right now. That doesn't even account for the fact that their warehousing is infrastructure is imploding, right? So <clears throat> it's not surprising then that two-day prime doesn't exist realistically right now. I mean, like, they're, they're still saying it exists, but in reality, the items aren't moving at quickly, at least not consistently and not on all items. So in this world, there's nothing you can do. There is a thousand-foot-high brick wall when it comes to uh, restocking an inventory unit that they have put under compression under the inability to send more than a 90-day supply. So no solution known on how to send inventory in when reserved is counting against you. Zero known solutions. There was a rumor um, about a potential API, um, creating a shipment through API that might be able to get around it. I'm not aware if that's a true rumor. I, ha I, I, I don't have any knowledge on that specific area. But I do know that, no, that you know six months of us fighting Amazon on this front and backdooring and talking and networking like I'm telling you there is no known solution to this that I'm aware of if I knew, knew one I would share it uh, that's how overwhelmed their FBA system is and they saw this coming clear back in July uh, so this is part of the reason why I have been long stating that I thought there was going to be massive stockouts you know by the end of the first week in December you could go back to my videos almost dating back to July. And I was like, this is the magic time when everybody's just going to stock out. So in those situations, you're better off just increasing your prices, slowing down the velocity, controlling your own destiny by sh shipping out merchant fulfilled. That is the only control mechanism you have. Now, the second area <clears throat> is a little bit better off under your control. And it's the inbound row, right? So if let's say you made an old shipment, Let's say it's two or three months old and the warehouse, for whatever reason, never sent it out. Those inbound numbers also are counting against you. So what you're going to want to do is go through your inventory, manage FBA shipments and go through and figure out, is there a shipment that never got sent out? And as long as it wasn't an LTL pickup, you could probably just ship that one shipment and slap those UPS labels on whatever box you've got. Right. If it was an LTL and it was a missed pickup, just delete it. You can't recover an LTL shipment. But if you had, you know, created a thousand unit shipment and it was supposed to be UPS case labels and it never went out, you can still use that shipment. Go ahead and send it out. Even if it was one or two months old, I've had a hundred percent success rate on that particular key issue. 
So hopefully this was helpful. I realize this is an extremely frustrating issue. Uh, there, there's not a lot of control mechanisms here, uh, but at least maybe there's a little, maybe a couple of you were able to find a, an old shipment you didn't send in and, and that helped you out today. Let me know in the comments if you have any opinions or frustrations or solutions on any of these fronts. I very much would love to hear it. Um, I'm right in the trenches with you. I'm, I'm out of stock on my top seller right now. And, and so very frustrating supply chain management this year. I feel like just in time supply chain management is completely dead. Uh, and I, I do not know if the restrictions are going to ease in January. If, if I was Amazon looking at the situation, I would probably keep the restrictions in place into February. And in January, I would run all that maintenance, clean up the warehouse, do all the things I couldn't do for the last six months. That's just me, my opinion. I don't know for sure. We also have the California lockdowns, New York lockdowns, where a lot of the warehousing high density population um, could be impacting some of these challenges as well. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. If you want to grow your sales, go to MyAmazonGuy.com and contact us. Let us know what you're interested in. You got a problem you need to solve? Tell us what it is. We might be able to coach you through it. Book a coaching call at this tab right here and talk to me or Dustin or Marima. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching.